Now I've been doing a whole lot of cutting already, but I do gotta say, compared to the legs I made for our table several years ago, there are a lot less parts on this, which also means quite a bit less welding. Now, if you guys are interested, I will have a link in the description below over to the website DIYTyler.com where for free, you can download the measurements and the cut list for a 1x3 metal X leg and a 2x4 version as well. I have the metal in the shop right now to build another 2x4 version for a, another hickory table. For my sister tables here with the thinner tabletop, I wanted to go with a 1x3. But there are downloadable plans for free on the website for you guys for your use as there was quite a few questions about the old table legs that I made back in the day. Now I want these to be repeatable so I'm making a jig here where I can use for either side of the table legs, clamp it in place, tack weld it real quick, and then move out and do all of the heavy welding out of the shop. Quite a bit of scaling on the metal that I did want to get off of there so that I would get good contact and a good weld when I was actually getting fired up here. The grinder with a abrasive pad makes quick work of that and then rubbing it down with some acetone really helps out as well. Now I am not a professional welder, I can make things stick together for the most part, but I do gotta say from where I started, I'm pretty proud of these MIG welds right here. They don't look so bad after all. I'd like to take a quick pause and thank the sponsor of today's video, who is Green Machine. They make the premium outdoor power tools that I have been using for quite some time now, and I am very impressed. Their trimmer is probably the best trimmer I've used, not just electric trimmer I've used. And their blower is fantastic for projects like this where I'm done out in the barn and now we gotta clean everything up real quick. They are a 62 volt battery system and they have a USB built right into them so you don't actually need an adapter if you wanna use something like this to charge up your GoPros or charge up your phones. This is a big old four amp hour battery. We'll run this blower for a very, very long time. 
You got accurate speed control, a super duper turbo on there, and it is a powerful piece of blower. Thanks Green Machine for sponsoring this video and making videos like this possible. You can find Green Machine exclusively online at thehomedepot.com. Check them out, link in the description below. For the finish on these legs, I'm gonna be using some primer. Typically I use self etching primer, but there was none in stock. So we just went with some filling primer and then a couple coats of the 2X Rust-Oleum black paint in a semi-gloss. This is my favorite paint from them. Seems to dry well and plenty hard and it's held up well on the table legs on our table for several years now, about four or five years, I think. Now, if you guys missed the table build, you can go back to the channel and check out the last build where we built a hickory table. It was just too long to include the table leg portion in that build, so we had to make a separate video. But the legs were fastened to the table with bolts that went into threaded inserts that were permanently threaded into the table. We did it this way so that it would be disassembled easily without any possible damage to the tabletop. Everything assembled well. The move to my sister and brother-in-law's house went very well, and then we moved it right in on a Sunday morning and had a delicious brunch of waffles right on top of it on that first day, and it's looking great.